Thank you for watching our informational video about your pregnancy ultrasounds. Throughout your pregnancy, you may be referred to us for a number of scans. The most common scans are an early pregnancy scan, which is performed before 12 weeks, a nuchal translucency assessment, an 18 to 20 week scan, also called a morphology scan, and a third trimester scan. The first scan you may have is the early pregnancy scan, which is performed to assist with dating and to provide an early check of general pregnancy health. All early pregnancy scans will involve the standard scan technique of scanning across the abdomen and pelvis. This type of scan is called a transabdominal scan. In some cases, it may also be helpful to perform an internal scan, which can also be called a transvaginal scan. When we do a standard transabdominal ultrasound, we ask you to drink plenty of water so you have a full bladder for your scan. A full bladder helps provide a clear window or lens to the uterus. If an internal or transvaginal ultrasound needs to be done, your sonographer will ask you to empty your bladder before they do this part of the scan. Having this type of scan is useful as the ultrasound transducer is placed internally via the vagina so the sonographer can position it closer to your baby. The next scan you may be referred for is called a nuchal translucency assessment. This is a specialised scan performed to assess for chromosomal abnormalities and is done in conjunction with a blood test. We have a special video dedicated to explaining this scan. While not everyone will have an early pregnancy scan or a nuchal, we recommend all mums-to-be have the 18 to 20 week or morphology scan. This is the main pregnancy assessment, which represents a full check of your baby and the pregnancy. This scan is performed after 18 weeks because by this stage of your pregnancy, most of the baby's organs and structures have formed and can be seen with an ultrasound. During this examination, your sonographer will assess the baby, measuring the circumference and diameter of the head, the circumference of the abdomen, and the length of the femur or thigh bone. The sonographer will also look at the major structures in the baby, particularly the brain, heart, spine, kidneys, bladder, and face. Because your baby may not always be lying in the ideal position for the scan, or if your dates aren't quite right and the baby may be less than 18 weeks, we may not be able to get all the information we'd like. If this occurs, we may suggest you come back for another scan at a later date. A lot of mums-to-be really look forward to the 18 to 20 week scan because this is when they can find out the sex of their baby. A number of factors can prevent an accurate assessment of your baby's gender, including the position the baby is lying in and the age of your baby. Your sonographer will discuss this with you during your scan. Finally, if your doctor wants to specifically monitor or review something, you may be referred to us for a third trimester scan. Your obstetric team will talk about this with you. For all our pregnancy scans, only one support person will be invited to join you, at least until all important measurements and images have been taken and the sonographer has performed any necessary checks. And while it is our policy not to allow any filming or photography during your examination, we take the time to provide quality pictures, including 3D images where possible, for you to take home at no extra cost. Having a baby is an exciting time, but it can also be expensive. We are often asked about the costs of the scans and the Medicare rebates. While we don't routinely bulk bill our pregnancy ultrasounds, we may offer bulk billing concessions for some examinations for healthcare card holders. When you book in for your scan, we will let you know exactly how much your scan will cost and what amount can be claimed back from Medicare. We carry out reliable, routine pregnancy scanning at all of our practices. But because babies and pregnancies are not always routine, we offer an additional specialised service at our Women's Diagnostic Centres in Brisbane. These centres are located at the Mater South Brisbane and Sunnybank Private Hospitals and we also have an obstetric imaging centre at Greenslopes Private Hospital. In regional areas, we offer specialised women's imaging services at our hospital sites. Please contact your local team for more information. These dedicated, professional and sensitive services can offer extra peace of mind for you when you are preparing for your very special arrival. We hope this video has helped explain what to expect when having ultrasounds during your pregnancy. If you have any questions about your scans,
please contact your nearest Queensland X-ray practice or ask your sonographer when you arrive for your scan.